For many, hairstyles are an expression of their personality, even culture, but that can lead to clashes in the workplace and with some employers' definition of a neat and professional hairstyle. News 8's Tim Blodgett has the story from La Mesa of a man suing his former company, claiming he was rejected because of his hair. I think they're looking at the dreadlocks and they're seeing that it's not to their perspective and standard of neat and professional. It's fitting that in this La Mesa barbershop that Shane Harris, founder of People's Association of Justice Advocates, announced he would be throwing his legal weight behind a lawsuit around hair. The legal challenge revolves around Jeffrey Thornton, an audiovisual expert who works in event spaces. Originally from Florida, Thornton was furloughed by his employer Encore Global during the pandemic. After hearing Encore would be hiring more positions on the West Coast, Thornton moved to San Diego, where he did an interview. I was told that I was recommended by my East Coast references and that I should find the transition to be no problem. All that was left was to discuss the dress code. I expected that I was to remove my ear gauges. It's not a problem. I'd be willing to trim my facial hair, but I wasn't prepared to be told that I would need to cut my hair in order to comply with Encore standards. Thornton says he told the hiring manager at Encore Global that cutting his dreadlocks was a deal breaker and was told that the position would be waiting for him if he did. He then contacted employment lawyer Adam Kent, who argues that Encore Global is in violation of the Crown Act, a 2019 California law that in part says, quote, workplace dress codes and grooming policies that prohibit natural hair, including afros, braids, twists, and locks, have a disparate impact on black individuals. Professionalism is not about fitting into Eurocentric norms. Professionalism is about competency, it's about skill and respect. We all expect to be judged based on our abilities and based on our character. Encore Global has not responded to my emails or given us a statement. While the legal claim was filed yesterday in San Diego Superior Court, the legal challenge is in uncharted waters. Harris and Kent believe that this is the first case in the state that would test the strength of the Crown Act. Harris wants to see justice for Mr. Thornton and for the state to punish those who violate the act. Let us be very clear what we are dealing with here. We are dealing with a violation of culture. We are dealing with a violation of rights. And Mr. Thornton will get justice in the court of law. Tim Blodgett, News 8.